Welcome back, watch friends. I've got another one, and I think it's a watch gang wheel spin. Maybe it's garbage, maybe it's not. We'll see. I don't know, this box looks familiar. An Axwell. Let's see, maybe it's a chronograph. That's pretty nice. Look at that. Very cool. All right, let's see if I can put together a video. Otherwise, this will be fast. All right, so this is the Axwell Minister. Um, I know uh, we've gone over some Axwells before. I can't remember, I did another Axwell. Um, another one I actually really liked, and I'll put a picture of it up here if I can remember which one it was. But um, it, it's a very nice watch. I mean, they're, they're, uh, their logo is kind of cool. I mean, you can kind of see it's right there. Uh, in that one section. It basically is like a prospector's, it's like two axes. I don't really know why they call this the minister. Um, I mean, that doesn't necessarily make any sense to me, but um, I don't know what that has anything to do with uh, hiking. So, but this is a quality watch. Now I got this one on a wheel spin also. I've been getting a lot of my watches and wheel spins just because <laughs> I like it. Um, it's, it's not one that they would normally give for uh, the black tier. I think this would be just like a, this might be along the level of like their original. I'm not sure, but it is a chronograph. It's kind of interesting. Um, so I paid, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll put it up here too. I think I paid about $53, $54. Uh, the MSRP isn't crazy. It's uh, it's pretty decent, and it is a nice watch. Uh, I will tell you, it's it's a good quality watch. It's got good feel to it, um, so I think it is certainly worth. Um, uh, it's definitely worth what I paid. I mean, it's a fantastic watch. It, it really is. I mean, I just not everybody kind of likes the style. It's an interesting color combination, um, but I was happy to get it. The uh, bezel does work. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I like it. I will put the number of clicks up at the top. I don't feel like counting it now. But um, it uh, it is a no-nonsense dive watch, so that is kind of cool. It is a 20 ATM, so that's 200 meters. So you can legitimately take this not only just snorkeling and swimming, but you can actually take this um, to some decent, de decent scuba diving. And we're not going to go find the Titanic with it, right, obviously, but... Um, I don't think anybody does get to use a sub for that. But um, you are going to be able to go see the Ariscany and whatever other ships have been sunk for the uh, for the reefs. But uh, one of the things I like about this watch and it stood out immediately to me is this design. Now there is a watch I restored uh, a couple years ago, one of the first ones that I restored, that I really liked. Um, I think it might have been a Russian one, I'm not really sure. But it had this very same style, and it was also a dive watch. And I, I really enjoyed that look. I thought it was very neat, and I'll put a picture of it up here if I can find it. Uh, the guy that bought it uh, really liked it. It was a very cool watch, um, very vintage. I think it was like a late 60s, early 70s, something, something along that line. Now, I say this is a chronograph, and it is, right? So the central second is the normal second hand. Up here at the 2 o'clock location is a... 24 hour indicator, which is fine. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's 20. Yeah, that's 24 hour indicator. So it's it's indicating right that it's like 1300, uh, almost 1400, whatever it is. Um, but in the upper left hand corner here is the minute counter up to 30, and this is the second counter, 60 seconds, and the minute counter, uh, and you can see it's, it's kind of weird. I'm not a huge fan, and I'll put a, a zoom in picture so you can see it because I know I'm kind of shaky, kind of going through this. But uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I suppose that, um, you know, of this chronograph functionality. But I suppose if you're going to have a chronograph, 
I mean, how often are you going to use it? So it's kind of nice to have it somewhere at the bottom. Uh, I will say, though, that I'm not necessarily a fan of the split gauge kind of style. It can be confusing. Uh, so as it goes around, you're doing 15, then then it gets to 30. So you have to switch back and forth because it's two, two dials, and it can be confusing. And now you go back to... Um, now you go back to the white and it's 45 seconds and so it's just it's kind of weird I, I've never really been a fan of that so but it, it is nice uh, again 200 ATM which is quite decent considering the fact that it's got multiple knobs um, it's not a screw down crown oh is it that sure is I didn't realize that okay screw down crown I like that that uh, definitely makes it worth a little bit more in my mind um, so I like that and I think it even lines up, which is impressive. So, and of course it's got the date at the four o'clock location, which is nice too. But again, actual minister, strange name, nice watch, kind of retro looking. Um, if it wasn't for the actual face design, which I think is trying to be a little bit more modern, uh, this would actually be a very cool retro watch. Like if, if it had a different face, I mean, you can put actual on it because the name's kind of cool. But if you had this case, but a different face, I think this would be fantastic. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of the face. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments. Uh, but 316 stainless steel, everything. Um, high quality buckle. So, I mean, definitely this is, you know, you get your money's worth with this thing. Um, 316 stainless steel, all, all laser, laser cut, uh, laser drilled. Uh, very nice. So... Uh, I'll put a couple pictures of the movement. It is a JS05, if I'm not mistaken, which is a Citizen Miota, which is a very high quality movement uh, for as far as quartz go. I mean, everybody knows Citizen Miota is a fantastic, fantastic uh, make. So it's gonna last pretty much forever. I mean, unless your battery swells and eats up the inside, this thing's pretty much gonna outlast <laughs> almost anything. Um, I don't think I've ever had a Citizen Miyota movement fail on me. So, um, very impressed. All right, let's do some measurements while I'm doing that, too. I will say it has a two-year uh, no-fault warranty or whatever that's called. I guess it's only manufacturer warranty. So, they'll only repair things if it's a defect, right? If the movement breaks or something fails as their fault of their own. But if you drop it and break it, that's your problem. All right, 43 millimeter. I say 22, right? About 22. Yep, 22. I'm gonna say this looks like a 14. 13. Yeah, yeah I'll say a good 13. All right, the lug. Forty-three, so not bad, kind of nice. I'm gonna put this on. I've got my uh, Ingersoll Speedmaster wannabe, but I love this thing. This thing's fantastic. Just want to see what this looks like. I mean, it is a fantastic watch. I may keep it. I think it it sits nice on the wrist. I will say that. I don't really have any clothes that necessarily match this. I mean, I suppose if I was going to Mardi Gras, right? Maybe oh, there's no yellows in it, but. I don't really know where green and orange match. I can't even think of a school. University of Miami, Miami Hurricanes maybe, a little off, but it works. Um, I really wish I had a different face, honestly. I mean, I love this case. The case, everything is fantastic and the movement's great, but I just don't like the case, the the, uh, the face. It's got some machine turning in there. It's nice, but it just, I don't think it fits. Uh, let's do some weight on this sucker. It's got some weight to it, which is fine. Yeah, I guess that's right. All right, 177 grams. And let's see what this guy looks like with the light out. That's cool. I like it. Everything lights up. The chronograph doesn't. I guess the chronograph is basically useless. Um, which is funny because you've got the minutes also. I suppose that's kind of useful, right? I mean, if you are just counting the minutes, that's useful. 
and then of course 24 hour time so but it is a nice watch uh, i like it i just wish it had a different face of course the case usually comes you know a little padded case kind of nice so all right let me know what you think uh Interesting to, to, to find out what you guys think about this brand. Um, I think they're nice, kind of strange name, whatever. But um, yeah, pretty cool. All right, if you want to see more videos like this, more reviews, please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.